How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God YouTube channel. So new studies have found that according to the secular view, Earth's inner core shouldn't exist. According to the secular view of the Earth's formation about 1 billion years ago, our planet's molten liquid inner core spontaneously began to crystallize, growing rapidly to the extent that it reaches today, around 760 miles in diameter. However, a new study published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters contradicts this theory, suggesting it is impossible. Researchers from Case Western Reserve University in Ohio argue that the standard narrative is overlooking a key detail of how crystals form, namely that they require a huge drop in temperature that is very unlikely to have happened inside the core. In fact, once this is taken into account, the team suggests that the Earth's inner core shouldn't exist at all. Everyone, ourselves included, seem to be missing this big problem, that metals don't start crystallizing instantly unless something is there that lowers the energy barrier a lot. They realize this process requires either 1. a large rapid temperature drop of about 1000 degrees Celsius to a temperature below the core's melting temperature, or 2. the addition of an already solid metallic nugget into the core. Since secular scientists think the core would require a billion years for its temperature to drop even 100 degrees, they concluded that a rapid temperature drop was implausible. On the other hand, the metallic nugget would have started dissolving as it somehow dropped from the Earth's mantle into the core. In order for this second scenario to work, the nugget would need to be ridiculously large, about 20 kilometers in diameter, for it to survive dissolution on its journey to the center of the Earth. This means that secular scientists cannot at present plausibly account for the existence of the Earth's inner core. So, if naturalistic processes cannot account for the existence of the inner core, then it appears to have been supernaturally created. This is what the Bible teaches and creation scientists strongly affirm. There is an important lesson here. Creation scientists have long pointed out that the incredible complexity of living things demand a supernatural creator. But this recent research shows just how difficult it is for secular scientists to explain the origin of even simple things, like Earth's inner core. The structure of Earth's core is much more simple compared to the inner workings of a cell or the coded instructions in the DNA molecule. Hence, one would tend to think that these secular scientists would have no trouble at all explaining how Earth's inner core formed. And yet, they are at a complete loss to explain its origin. We see examples of this in other areas of the origins controversy. Stars are also relatively simple structures, essentially giant balls of gas. How hard could it be to explain the origin of a giant shining gas ball? And yet, secular scientists, despite their frequent claims that star forming regions have been observed, have yet to devise a plausible secular explanation for star formation. And no one has ever witnessed the actual process of star formation itself. Secular star formation scenarios are beset by multiple theoretical difficulties, the most serious of which is that they require at least one generation of stars to already be in existence. Naturally, a theory of star formation that requires stars to already exist is hardly a convincing theory. The more we learn about the universe, the less plausible evolutionary stories or evolutionary fairy tales become. Thanks for watching guys and may you all have a blessed day.